Sport Studio and said that uh, Erling had a general play at the level of a League Two player. Uh, what do you make of that uh, verdict? I'm not agree with him. Absolutely not. It's like he said, he's a manager for the second or third league. I don't think so. So he's a, the best striker in the world. And he helped us to win what we won last season. And the reason why we don't create much chances is not for Merlin. Is we need more presence in the final third with more people. And we play an exceptional game. I reviewed the game against Arsenal, but just we miss more people in the final third. Maybe for the quality, different skills that we have, but uh, Erling is exceptional. Erling, uh, in the six games against the top five sides this season, he has got uh, one goal. Uh, what do you make of that? Football. It's happened. Is it a lack of supply? Is it a uh, some, some actions he misses, some actions lack of supply, sometimes the decision for the manager, sometimes the opponent is really good, sometimes for many, many reasons. In football, it's not just one reason. There are many. Sometimes when you have success or you don't have success, there's many reasons. It's a football, it's a sport team, you know, team sport. So it's it's not individual like golf or tennis or the other ones. So everyone needs for the other ones, and there are many reasons. Yeah. I have when you've um, when you've finished management, you know, however many years that's going to be, would you ever fancy being a pundit? Pundit? Yeah. Depends on the offer. Just you've had to, you know. If you have your salary, yeah. <laughs> you've, you've had to sit there for years and years and have pundits talk about your players. You know. You I'm surprised this come from former players. For the journalism, I can understand, but never been on the pitch. But the former players always are surprised. It's like the referees when retire criticize the referees when they were there. How difficult is that business for the players? Always surprise me. The memory <laughs> disappear quick. The problems the players they have, they had. The lack of miss actions, they miss it a thousand million times. And they were hurt when they were criticized for the former players. But today is where it is. So we have to accept it and move forward. So that's why I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But uh, I'm not the guy going to criticize my colleagues when I retire. I'm going there. It should be this, it should be that, it should be that. Well, I could do it now, and I don't do it. It's easy to sit in. But everyone has to live, you know, for something. And with the. Because obviously, the, what, whenever a pundit says something on, on television, it's, all, it's everywhere, isn't it? It's all over social media. And the players probably can't escape it. How difficult do you think it is for, for them personally? Well, they have to do it. So it, it's a job. So accept it. You, you don't want to accept that. As a football player, you have to dedicate another job. Like read books or more intimate. You know, when you are in this amount of public uh, figure, so you have to accept it. That's why when you are in the extended contract or another contract with the agent, you have to ask a lot of money. You have to do it to accept that moment, you know? So you have to do it. Hi, Pep. Um, a couple of years ago um, here you said that you felt that everybody outside of Manchester City and their fans wanted Liverpool to win the title. Everyone was supporting them. Do you feel that's more the case than ever now this season with Jurgen Klopp going at the end of the season? Everybody I don't, wants I, them. I don't have an opinion now. I have two years now, I don't have it. Who do you think would be more popular winners? You, Who, Liverpool, who do you think would be more popular winners? You. Liverpool or Arsenal? More popular winners? Winners of the title. O over the people? Yeah. I don't know. I should go out and ask all the people in the UK what is their opinion. So I don't have this opportunity to do it. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, important is still, you know, with three points in that stage, nine game left, knowing the quality, both contenders and Liverpool and Arsenal. But we have to try to do a job. So, and after wait, I would like no wait being top, but at the same time, when we were in top, we should win all the games, or mainly almost everything is the same situation. And after we do our job, this is what we have to do. Oh. Hi, but, um, it was obviously quite a strong thing that, that Roy Keane said, and Erling Haaland, when he sits in front of us, he has his persona of being very, very confident and being able to handle everything, but he's still a very young boy, he's only 23. 
Does that kind of thing affect him at all? Do you have to speak to him when things like this occur? It's part of the process. So in this level, when you score the goals and you help us to win, the standards that Erling has are pff, unbelievable, and the people expect all the things. But there are games I could say, ah, I could be better. But I knew in the, during the game, and I felt it when I feel it. The reason why we were not had chances is not because of Erling in that game. It was not. And of course, you have a specific quality, you know, like everybody knows. And in 23, he won't improve, he will improve. And this is the most important thing. But in this world, in my world, in the world of Erling and all the players, we have to accept that. The natural way. So it doesn't matter if you like it, you dislike it. It's not the issue. You have to accept it. And okay, let's prove it again for yourself. Let's make them wrong. And, and that's all. It's only only we can do because we're not going to change. You like it or like it, it's not going to change. So why you have to be worried? Not even one second. You know, not even one second. Do it. And the same one asked me about the calendar or happened with the games. Or not. It's what it is. So I can give my opinion. And that's it. I think no one would argue with the fact that Erling Haaland is a ridiculous finisher. I mean, he's like, you know, a one-off. And I think Roy Keane even said that. But in terms of the actual build-up, the sort of what he adds to your play, do you lose something when it doesn't work with Erling, you know, in a game like Arsenal, with regard to what, he, what maybe like an Alvarez can offer in your build-up as a false nine? Because I think that was the point Roy Keane was making. About tactically that game? With regard to Erling Haaland, do you, yeah, yeah, in terms of his sort of, forget about the finishing, the actual, his all round build up play as a false nine, however you want to describe it, maybe he's, he doesn't quite give you what, yeah, say an Alvarez or previously, you know, another player might have given you? No, it's a question when uh, face the teams, like in, in certain moments of the game, Arsenal defend low blocks so deep, we need more presence in the box. If we're more present in the box, Erling will be more space. So why didn't that happen then on Sunday? Why? Because it's happened. It's happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. But it ha very rarely so happens is, with your teams, right? Sorry? Very rarely happens with your teams, that. I mean, it's all. No, it's all... happened sometimes. I have to remember. Sometimes it happens. We have a players more that deliver players than being to be delivered. And uh, it's more, more, more skill than quality. And this is one true principle. We can talk about many things. If you want to defend a goal in the final, in your third, in your box, you want to defend, they don't score, put a lot of players close to your keeper. A lot. If you want to score goals, bring a lot of players to the to the key opening keeper. It's simple as that. It's difficult to score a goal when you are away to the goal. And, and and we lack a little bit, and you're right. Maybe with Julian we'll be there. We feel maybe in, in a better game, like play close there. Or, you know, Oscar Bob, for example, they like to move in that position. Maybe that. So, But it's what it is. So at the same time, when you play as like we had, the play the 90-95 minutes. And just one more, obviously you're concentrating on Aston Villa, but when um, Liverpool played Manchester United on Sunday, will you be cheering on Manchester United because of the title race? Come on, United. Always oh, I support United. Paul? Well, really? Not really, but anyway. <laughs> hey, Pat, you were talking about Erling's high standards a minute ago. Um, he obviously puts a lot of work into every aspect of his... Um, life off the field, you know, nutrition, sleep, um, and how he trains, etc. And he's only, like Rob was saying, he's only 23. Have you ever seen that kind of level of commitment to professionalism at yeah. a young age? I'm really surprised from the day one about that. Yeah. At the end, you sign a place, you don't know him until you are living or working with him. But definitely. Definitely was surprised how in Carlif his life just for the you know his football game to be ready because his recovery is not easy eh? comparing for the other players for the dimension of the, his body so that's why he needs special treatments but he's aware of that his entourage and the club doctors physios and everyone nutritionists is aware of that and all of us and that's why it was not we we'll have any doubts about you know what is not doing what he has to do and just in terms of your, the squad overall, you often talk about setbacks and how you kind of see the character of your squad after setbacks. I know you obviously didn't lose on Sunday, but how, how have you how have your players trained since since the match? What kind of vibe are you getting? From I had the them? feeling that in, in general, the level of our football performance is really, really high. It's really high this season. Aston Villa was 
give a lot of credit when Aston Villa we were not good, but in general, even the games in the top side that we could not win, we were, especially at home, we were exceptional. So in a football game, there are many details to control. And most of the power in the last game was really good against <laughs> considering the opponent we faced, you know, in terms of many things. We lack a little bit one concept, you know, in the to score the goals, you have to be there. And we were not enough players, enough. Uh, but it's happened. Football, it's happened. Um, Rodri missed the, the defeat at Aston Villa because he picked up too many yellow cards. He doesn't seem to have picked up many in the last, I think it's two in the last ten games. Is that something that he's been spoken about to about to avoid getting yellow cards? No, we don't think about. It. I don't remember talk about that. I think it's one one uh, thing is one one left to one or two left, but it doesn't matter. No, we, we don't talk about that. He they know it, and the guys wanna be involved in the games. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's yellow cards, sometimes on. <laughs> I think less lately he get less than the beginning of the season. Yeah. Hi, Pep. You were talking before about the team being exceptional this season, and I know, especially from the documentary, how much you appreciate your players, and they don't have to prove anything, and they have been at a high level this season. But do you think in this next six or seven weeks, they need to find an extra? There needs to be something extra to to win the competitions you're in, because you're yeah. there to compete. But is there something else that needs to come? Yeah, of course. We have to do our best, definitely. And all details getting better, and mentality getting better. Yeah, no man, getting better. Be our to be our best. I know that. So now not depend on us. So we have two teams that they have to drop points and we cannot drop in the Premier League. And after we face the Champions League, the rival like everybody knows, and semi-final against Chelsea. <coughs> yeah, we know it, but I see the team ready before Arsenal was. Um, yes, and today I see the team, you know, ready. And that means it's going to happen. It's the same like... You know, the standards of Harlan and Erling is so high, the team is so high, so the people expect, ah, oh, it's travel again. So we have to deal with that. So knowing that is so difficult for the, for, mainly for, for not because we are not, I had the feeling, eh? I would be completely honest, all of you. I, I didn't think much, we dropped much comparing, comparing in the past, in, the, in our football performance, even in our results. Um, even you can tell me, okay, in the top six times, you, you got, Less points than the previous years, right? So it's a fact. But in the terms of playing, was really, really, really good, especially at home. Um, but we have to deal with that. So it's just Aston Villa and see what happens. And again, in terms of the Netflix documentary, we saw you speaking to the players. At one point, you said, "I'm supposed to say something because I'm paid a lot, but I don't need to tell you anything." How how is it after six or seven, eight years with these players? You still manage to find the right things to say, the 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 right tone, the right the right moment, the right amount. How do you? No, do you do no book is in the moment. Sometimes my mood is down and I don't say anything. Sometimes my mood is higher and I said something. I see it depends what happened yesterday, what happened today, what happened for the next game. So it's not uh, it's not like it's it's planning in, in the half time when I'm saying all the managers, not me, all the managers half time. You you don't know before the game we're going to say in the half time. You don't know, it's happened. Sometimes you are more calm, sometimes you see the faces of the players that they try, it doesn't work, sometimes they don't even try. It, it depends, so it's not it's not special. And what happened with that, you name it the documentary, I never see more even one chapter. And and in that moment, it was, it was that moment, specific moment, you have felt something that the players have to know it. And always it's regenerate, always you have a new players, a new situation that you can they can they can do it. So my mouth and close Yeah, hi Pep. Um, you haven't had Jack really much for the the last sort of few weeks because of injury, and he's had a sort of stop start season. Are you, are you expecting a big end to the season from him? Yeah. I had the feeling that he's back. In mood, in training, and many things, in desire. Yeah. Um, now I'm pleased. So only I ask to the players that is be ready, be yourself, and after. It doesn't matter if you perform in the highest level or less. But and Jack is, is his commitment, and we need everyone of the important inches that we have. And uh, in the tight, tight schedule of many games, 
we need everyone. So the contribution from, for example, Jeremy or Jack when came in or Enrico when came in was really, really important. The game against Arsenal, they're really important. They make a lot of things. Jeremy did a lot of things. Jack also was aggressive within that. Enrico, except the first one or two minutes, that it's not easy to come in immediately. He took the game in his hand and played really, really good, like normally Enrico always play. So in Aston Villa and after Crystal Palace, Madrid and Luton, Madrid and all the games we have ahead of us, is what's going to happen. And just quickly on Cal Walker, has he has he got any chance of Real Madrid? Because he's been so important against them in previous years. Or? Listen, <laughs> what the doctor said, no. But Kyle is Kyle, having a special genetic. <laughs> but what the doctor said to me, <clears throat> it was quite serious. But I said, Kyle is, is Kyle. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.